Hello, welcome to Fractal to GCS. Today we're going to learn how to add images to your Twine stories. Twine doesn't give you a way to import an image directly into the Twine project. You're going to need an image from a website. Um, so you're going to need to find the URL, Uniform Resource Locator, um, to add that image. So I've gone over here and I am searching for an image of grass. Uh, so I've gone to Google, I'm using images. Um, it's important when we're adding images to our stories that we use ones that people have allowed us to use. You can also draw your own and then upload them to like Flickr or um, Google Pictures or any site that'll host those. Um, so I'm gonna go to tools and I'm gonna look at usage rights. Um, I'm gonna say Creative Commons licenses. Um, so there's actually a lot of these for grass, which is great. Uh, this first one looks just fine. So I'm gonna go over here. Um, again. Um, I'm gonna go to this image. So uh, I have this image. I wanna check the license. It says, ah, this is a Creative Commons attribution license. You can use it however you want, but you have to give credit. Um, Great, that's fine. So uh, I need to get the image uh, where it is. So I can do that by right-clicking it and saying copy image address. Um, I can then go here and I can paste it. Um, so I've got my image. Um, this may be slightly different. In this case, I can also click on it and get the same link from the image here. I don't actually need that. So, I've got my image link, which I'm gonna need. Um, and so now I need to tell Twine that it should use this uh, burn image. Now there isn't an image tag, but you may have remembered the background tag, so background macro, parentheses background, okay, colon. Um, if I put in quotes the name of this, close the quotes, close the parentheses, add a hook, square bracket, this should be brass, period, close those square brackets, um, that, so let's test it out. Hey look, it is in fact, there's grass behind it. Now, if you watch the uh, third video about backgrounds and whatnot, um, third video in fancy text, uh, remember if I just used um, a, a color word here, uh, it didn't work. Um, and the reason is that it's trying to find an image somewhere on the internet at purple, which really there isn't. Undo, I now need to paste that link back in there. Um, you can make this image a little bit bigger by, you know, uh, just typing some extra space there. Um, if you want an image that isn't like the entire width of your screen, um, or doesn't have text in front of it, uh, you're going to need a different tool. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to also give credit to this image. So it's much easier to do that if I do it when I first got the image, because I don't have to search for it again then. So I'm going to add a new passage. I'm going to call this passage credits. Um, I'm going to put that image link Let's in there. test it out. Um, now here I'm not going to make it a link, I'm just going to get the other information about it. Um, here's the author. Um, and I go over here. Um, pass image by from, there's the URL. So anybody who wants to can go and find out where that is. Uh, I'm going to make a link, my credits page, right here. 
which is great. Real easy. Um, so again, if I play this, I get this grass, I have the credits option, and somebody can go and find out who made that image, which is great. Okay, so the other thing you might want to do is you might want to make an image that is not part of a background. You might want it to be a certain specific size. Um, Twine does not give us a way to do that. Um, but we can always use HTML code, hypertext markup language, um, in Twine. Now, the syntax for HTML is a little different. Um, it uses uh, triangle brackets, greater than, less than, instead of parentheses, and it uses abbreviations. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tell it we want an image, which it will abbreviate to IMG, because HTML is all about the abbreviations. And we're going to need to tell it where it's coming from, the source, SRC. Um, I'm going to use that same grass image to show you how these things look different from each other. Um, just for reference, so single uh, bracket, IMG. Again, you can look above me to see how I type the angle bracket. Um, SRC source equals, which here means becomes this value. Um, quote. No, that's that's my author. Uh, here we go. Copy this. Paste it. End quote. And angle bracket. Let's test this out and see how those work the same or differently. Okay, so here we have the background, and here we have, it's actually much larger um, because it's filling up this whole thing. Uh, you can, in fact, change the size of those. Um, see how I said source becomes this? Uh, if I, uh, I can also tell it a height. Uh, which will be in pixels, uh, I think. This is me trying to remember how this works, but that should do it. Let's test it out. Yeah, now I have it small, same font. It's great. So that's two ways to include image, images in Twine. You can do it with the background tag, the background macro, or the IMG image tag from HTML. Either of those will work. Um, you will need uh, a link to your image online, and that should do it for you. So have a good day.